Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In last two videos, we learnt about set analysis. Today we will see how to show year to date and previous year to date sales using set analysis. I will create a KPI first and will write a simple expression sum of sales. And we are getting the output as total. 1779320. Now for YTD, I can say sum of sales with set analysis order is equal to current year. But there is a possibility that in some cases, say like we have orders which are already booked for the future dates and we don't want to consider them as a sales. We only want to consider sales which is actually happened till date. So in that case, I simply cannot use order year equal to 2022 in set expression because we want to consider all the sales up to today's date. So to do that, we should use order date in set expression instead of order year. So to define that, I need to find out my start date and my end date. So I will create two more KPIs for my start date and my end date and my start date is year start day. I have already created videos on year start and year end. So if you haven't gone through with that video, I strongly recommend to check them. Year start today will give me start of the year. And same way, and my end date will be today's date. I cannot say here year end today because I want YTD sales. YTD means year to date means start of the year to until today. So I should get all sales between 1st of January 2022 to today's date which is 16th of March 2022. So now I will start to write set expression here. Uh, I will use the same method which I shown you in my last video and I will mention here order date equal to and I need to predefine my order date. It will be between double quote and I will say greater than equal to my start of the year 1st of January 2022 and less than equal to today's date which is 16th of March 2022. This start of the year which is January 2022 I need to replace with my dynamic value. So I will use my expression here. And as shown in the previous video, I have to use dollar sign expansion. So I will use dollar sign expansion and inside that I will use my function year start today. So you can see click has now converted year start today with the dollar sign expansion to 01-01-2022. And similar way, I will use my end date. So I will replace my end date with the dynamic expression dollar sign expansion dollar inside equal to today. So now I am getting dynamically 1st of January to 16th of March which is today's date and I will get the answer. This the final answer is reflecting according to the selections. I want my final answer work based on the current selection but selections in my calendar field should ignore. In that case, I will bypass them. I will write here order quarter, order month year, order month, order week, order weekday and order year. Order here, I will take at the front. So now my final expression will ignore all the selections made in calendar fields. But it will work based on the selections in dimensions like country, customer, category, product, supplier name and employee name. So this is how we can create expressions for year to date sales. Now we will create expression for previous year to date. So to do that, 
I will create two more KPI here. And here I will say year start today for the previous year. I strongly recommend you to check my previous videos for year start and year end if you don't know how this works. I have given all the details of all the parameters being used in year start function. So now we are getting previous year start but here we have to convert this today's date which is showing here right now 16th March 2022 to 16th March 2021. So to do that I will use add year function here and I will say one year add one year but minus one is the second parameter which will go back one year. So we will get 16th March 2021. I will copy the previous set expression and I will replace my start date and end date. So what I will do here is I will say greater than equal to dollar sign expansion less than equal to dollar sign expansion and now I will copy my start date and I will put it inside my dollar sign expansion start date and my end date I will put inside my dollar sign expansion end date. So now you can see the order date is now start of the previous year 01012021 and my end date is 16th of March 2021 because we are comparing YTD versus previous year to date. So previous year to date should be the same date compared to today's date. And now we are getting output 178637. If you want to verify the output, you can go here and you can select anywhere where you have order date. I can even write here and I can say greater than equal to 01012021 less than equal to 1603.2021 and I will press enter. So it will select all date from 1st of January 2021 to 16th March 2021. I will select it and now you can see 178637 is my output total sales 178637 I will remove the filter now and you can see now we are getting still the same output in a second KPI which we have defined as a previous year to date the same you can do for the first KPI now I can use this expression Instead of sum of sales, I will use here as my year to date function and I will give label year to date. And the second expression, which is for previous year to date, I will use here and I will mention it as my second measure and I will say the label PYTD. And I will do the number formatting with the year to date and previous year to date both. And now this is my final output. This middle bottom table will give me year to date and previous year to date sales for country. I can now compare my YTD versus previous YTD and we'll see how much sales is increased by country for current year compared to the previous year to date. The best way to do this is, first of all, I will create a variable for this and I will say variable name VYTD sales and I will define like this and I will create it and I will create another variable for previous year to date. So I will say I will copy this measure and then I will create new and will say v previous YTD sales and inside the definition I will paste my expression and I will say create my expression. 
So now instead of using this, I will use my variable. So I will say v ytd sales with dollar sign expansion. And the label is ytd sales. And same as the first one, I will use my p ytd sales with dollar sign expansion and I will change my label to p ytd sales and you can see both the results are same. I can also define number formatting in my expression only. So here I will say number and will say in this format I will copy this and the same I will mention in my PYTD and now you can see we are getting proper number formatting here. Now I don't need YTD and PYTD which we have written without variable and now to compare these two I can do something like this. What is the difference is V YTD sales with dollar sign expansion minus V previous YTD sales with my dollar sign expansion. So this will give you comparison of year to date sales with previous year to date sales. I can even store this one in a variable and I can say v ytd versus p ytd sales and I will create my variables here and I will mention something like this bracket and I will also write the number format I can write v ytd versus previous ytd sales with my dollar sign expansion and it will give me proper result with the proper number formatting. I will remove this. Now to find the percentage what I can do here is this divided by my previous year to date sales. So it will give me how much sales increase or decrease compared to the previous year to date sales. And to convert to proper number format, I will say 0, 0 0.00 percentage and I am getting my output something like this. So now I will create another variable and I will say V YTD versus previous YTD sales percentage. And in the definition, I will paste my this expression. I will create this variable. And I will create my measure using this variable. So I will say ytd versus this. And I will say dollar sign expansion. And now I will get the same output. So I don't need this. So now this label is ytd versus pytd sales and here this is ytd versus p ytd percentage. So in this video we have created set expressions for year to date sales and previous year to date sales. We also learned how to bypass all the calendar fields while creating ytd and previous ytd sales. We also created expressions to compare YTD sales versus previous YTD sales and we also found out year to date versus previous year to date percentage. We created variables for all these expressions and used variables instead of normal expression. Hope you like my video. Please do share and subscribe my videos. Till then, thanks and have a great day.